Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well on this beautiful Friday afternoon. And thank you for watching this clip on solving word problem with consecutive numbers. This type of word problem comes up a lot. So in this clip, I'm hoping to give you a general approach. So whenever you see the word consecutive, you say, yes, I got those. All right, so let's get started. In order to solve a word problem, the best way is starting from backward. When they asking what's the largest integer, well, you're just going to cross it out and you say, well, I don't know what the largest integer is since it's consecutive five even integers. I'll start with the first one. Next one is n plus 2, n plus 4, n plus 6, and n plus 8. So my largest one is n plus 8. Okay, n is my smallest one over here. And once you have those consecutive listed out, what you need to do is go back to the word problem and literally drag the equation out of those words. It said the largest of the five consecutive integers, well, we know what the largest one is now, it's n plus 8. The word is means equals, okay, 2 less than twice the smallest. Smallest is n twice smallest, two less. Now, this is the important part, actually, believe it or not. Two less means something minus two does not mean two minus something. So basically, equation comes to the largest one is two less something minus two, two less of the twice times the twice of the smallest. Think about it. So if my age is two less than yours, or vice versa, and you gotta subtract two away from the age, not the other way around. Once you got the equation over here, it's really easy to solve. Let's subtract n on both sides, and then add two on both sides. Obviously, then n is equal to 10. If n equal to 10, then the largest integer or consecutive one is 10 plus eight, which is 18. So largest integer is 18. I have a really, really funny picture here I wanted to show you. Does this feel like how you climbing up the math wall sometimes? I like to gather those funny ads. As a matter of fact, if, we, if you have any funny pictures, email it to me and I maybe I'll make it into one of the videos. Anyway, okay, back to math. So like I said, consecutive numbers, if you ever so see those type of word problems again, don't panic, there's no need to worry. And this type of problem is actually one of the easier ones to solve. Write them out and then go through back into the words and literally drag them out one at a time. All right, I hope this one is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a thumb up or a comment. Till next time, have a confident day.